rolling. Yep. Alright guys, if you follow me on my Instagram, you've probably seen that I'm going to start vlogging, which is what this is now, it's a vlog. If you haven't seen me on my Instagram, then welcome to the channel. My name's Ollie, and today I'm going out with my lovely partner. Show yourself. Oh. Well, point the camera at you. There we go, there she is. We're off to go take some pictures in the middle of the road with trees near the side and it's autumn and I'm hoping to get lots of oranges, not the fruit, the uh, colour. And I think it'll be really nice for a picture. I know it's been done before but I haven't done that before. So I want to try it and I want to show you me trying it because that'll be fun, won't it? Won't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yay! So, yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. Right, all right. Just don't know. What do you think? As long as I don't get one over. Well, I can't promise. Right, we're at location. There's the beautiful Levi. We're, uh, well, there's a car coming. We hope to find a non busy road, but apparently this is busy. Well, there's only one car. There's one car. But yeah, we'll, we'll set up. I'm going to change over to my 50 mil and then probably do some, some shots on my phone of me taking pictures and that but this this is the location right, I switched to my phone now so I'm, I'm talking here. <laughs> I've switched to my phone now, so what I'm rocking is the Canon M50 with the Viltrox uh, adapter. I've not got the speed booster on, so it's essentially, well, it's got the 50mm lens on, uh, so it's essentially like an 80mm, which I thought would work quite well for this picture because it'd, it'd be, uh, I don't know, it'd just maybe add to the depth a bit. So, try out some some shots the road behind me there that's what I'm thinking very overexposed here so that's what I'm thinking we'll get some pictures oh look at that lovely backlit there beautiful come join me that's a lovely shot that isn't it beautiful right let's try this out Right, so we're done. Pretty happy with how the pictures turned out, I think. Are you happy with how the pictures turned out? They turned out all right. We, uh, we found a good little stretch of road which was nice and quiet. I can't feel that either. But it is pretty cold today. I mean, autumn's notorious for being cold, right? Right. <laughs> That's why we're cold. So, now it's time to head back at some point we're not going I'm not going straight back that'll be a lie I'll edit these at home I might show you me editing them if I do then cut edit here right we are back in the office well I say office it's actually a conservatory so please mind the echo I know it's bad I can't do anything about it I will get it sorted don't you worry 
there will be some some things happening at some time in in my life where I will no longer be in this conservatory. I'm telling you now. So I've gone through the pictures. I've already picked some that I like to help save a bit of time because that'll be quite boring for you guys just watching me pick pictures. It was quite boring for me. I'm not sure what I was going to say, but we're going to jump into my computer and you're going to watch me edit these pictures. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Um, it's the first time I've done a screen recording on the old Macintosh. So I thought to try and sync it up, I'm going to go 3, 2, 1, click and click on the first picture and that's where I'll sync it up to. So 3, 2, 1, click. Possibly. Alright, so these are the pictures that I've chosen. Got number one. Lovely. Very cosy. Number two. Again. Lovely and cosy. Three. I got my partner to to wear something that'll fit the autumn kind of vibes. Because that's what autumn's about, it's about getting cosy and being all wrapped up and warm although she's only in a jumper and not a jacket like this first one so I think out of the four this is my favourite so we're going to go ahead and edit this one don't judge my editing it's just how I do it I'm sure you'll do it another way but yeah let's uh, let's go for it so overall the exposure on this shot is quite good I mean I'm gonna lift the shadows a bit give it a bit of detail and maybe drop the highlights ever so slightly just so it's not as Harsh, let's say. The blacks and whites are great. I mean, I'm no expert at this, but to me, overall, it looks good. I'm going to give it a little crop, go for the old 4x5 Instagram ready. Hmm. I think the legs take away from the picture a bit. So, let's get the legs out. Let's Actually, I was wrong. The legs look good. Typically when I'm cropping, I put the eyes in line with either, depending on the subject is, with either a corner of one of the grids. That always looks nice, gives you a good focus point, but if they're directly in the centre, I tend to line them up. With the, uh, with the centre line, it gives a good overall picture and I like it so before I start messing around with the curves I'm going to start the colours out so the reds I don't like to play with these too much because you start affecting the lips and the lips will look very odd if there's no saturation but Give them a bit more red. 
the oranges, skin tones, I normally like to drop it a little bit, give them a bit of a warmer colour. Tighten it up slightly, and that's looking nice. I don't want to play with it too much. The yellows now, this is where we can get some real autumn vibes. We have really dialed down that yellow, get them into the oranges on the old hue. yellow and orange in, it can start to look a bit too orange in my opinion and I'm gonna I'm gonna play with the colour grading and well the new colour grading uh, part of Lightroom which I haven't had a proper go with yet so you'll see me try that out. So yeah, I don't like to go too much on the uh, on the greens because you can, in my opinion, make it look a bit too too orange. I'll uh, drop them a little bit more. Give the saturation up a bit, and yeah, bring them around about there. So. I don't think there's going to be any glues or aquas or anything like that. Let's see. Now that's another thing. Come here with the old chromatic aberration. So, on the uh, profile correct, on the profile corrections. Sometimes, it's my artistic choice to not put it on because it adds a bit of natural kind of vignetting which I like sometimes. So I'm going to keep it on in this case. Come out of collaboration, I always get rid of that, you don't want that. I don't know, whenever you would want it but I get rid of it. And normally, Depending what I'm shooting, I tend to drop the uh, magentas and purples. I mean, you get some magentas in the skin tones, but not much. And why I do drop that is because when you do have chromatic aberration, they're normally the colours that show up, so I'll just get rid of them. But why not? Why not? Eh? So overall, colour-wise, that's the original. I think we're starting to get somewhere. I mean, it looks very nice. If I do say so, if I do say so myself, can't talk tonight. So let's see what we can do with the. Colour grading and I saw somewhere if you hold buttons oh yeah so if you hold command I'm using a Mac if you hold command it keeps it in this you know you see that little circle pop up you hold command it stays there there's another one you can hold as well. yeah if you hold shift then it stays within that colour so you can dial that dial how much you want right intensity, saturation, whatever the word is. So I'm gonna go all the way so I can see what colour I want. And there we go, I like that colour. That's good. So I think that is probably a good amount. And I've gone for orange because I want it to have that autumn-esque vibe, because it is an autumn picture. Do I want to put it into the shadows? I think I do, you know, but I think I want a bit of a, a bit of a darker orange. So I'll hold shift. 
and I'll put that into the orange there and I think I don't know what I just did. What did I just do? <laughs> yeah. There's your original. There's the finished piece. I think that's lovely. I'm going to do a similar edit to the rest. Actually, I did say I was going to do something with the tone curve. I'm quite liking the contrast in the picture, so I want to keep with that and apply a nice little S curve, nothing too drastic, just something to spice it up a bit. And I think, I think that looks very nice. I'm quite happy with that. And let me know in the comments if you like that as well. So I'd really like to know. And I'm sorry I don't know much. Well, I do know a bit about Lightroom, but I don't, I don't give tutorials or anything like that. I'm just showing you what I do. So I'm sorry that the information I was given wasn't very in depth, but that's what I've got, and that's what you're, that's what you're given. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed making it, I think. But there will be more of these. I don't know how many. On this Sunday, it always seems to be a Sunday I do something. Well, I'd, I'd, I'd think about doing it on Sunday, but the last one that I did, this one, was on a Saturday. So it's no good planning things, but I have planned to meet up with Heb, who I am in the business with. It's called Heb and Griff. If you want to check us out, we're on all the all the social medias. But we've just purchased a drone for the business, so he's had it for a while, so he's been practicing with it. I'm gonna go see him on Sunday so I can have a little go with it too. Hopefully I don't crash it. But, you know, who can crash a drone nowadays unless you fly an FPV drone? And I've heard they're pretty tricky. I don't think I'd be any good with them. But it's the new DJI Mavic Air 2. So I'm looking forward to having to go with that. So I'll fly that, I'll vlog it, show you some footage that we got. Might be interesting, might not be, but hopefully you'll you'll join me for the for the day. So yeah, it's been great to have you. I'll see you in the next episode. Don't forget, which you probably will, to like and subscribe because that's what I always forget to do. Even if I like a video, I'll forget. It's just just there in the back of my brain. It just doesn't click. But you know. If you do remember, that would be great. See you next time. Bye.